Yeah, really unfortunate to see that huge storm. It's very strong and then also bringing a lot, a lot of rain to Jamaica and it looks like landfall will be sometime very early tomorrow morning on your Tuesday. Here's the storm very symmetrical looking. It's not actually a gigantic storm, but it's very powerful with those winds at the center. Some gusts near 200 miles per hour. It's drifting to the west very slowly right now and only about 100 miles or so south of the coast of the central part of Jamaica, about 150 or so miles southwest of Kingston on the extreme eastern side and here it's potential landfall as a category five. The last major hurricane to hit and the strongest on record uh, was in 1988 Gilbert a category three. So this could be significantly stronger than anything people that uh, are on Jamaica remember in their lifetimes and really through the record keeping days as we look toward its eventual path past Jamaica. It should finally move off could still be a cat three approaching the coast of Cuba by Tuesday and Wednesday and then continues to move over perhaps Turks and Caicos very close to there and the southeastern Bahamas and eventually as a much weaker system and a very accelerating a much faster moving system it might eventually get close to Bermuda again as it heads out. Why is it taking that path? Well here it is. It's just been drifting and kind of locked in without a lot of steering over the past several days but we have a trough dropping in high pressure out to its east and then high pressure also kind of building behind it to eventually scoot it off to the northeast and that's what will bring it across the Bahamas into the western Atlantic and eventually toward Bermuda. So again, these rainfall totals are just really very concerning to see 30 inches possible in parts of Jamaica. Eastern Cuba could get a foot, maybe close to two feet in spots and even Haiti and Dominican Republic on the eastern side of the system in for several inches of rain as well. Right now we have a beautiful